Hello students and families. Tonight we're going to look at multiplying with two digit numbers using a break apart strategy. This strategy is going to take you one step closer to the regular algorithm, which is the fancy way of saying the way your parents learned. First let's remember the strategies we've already learned. And let's use partial products with an area model to multiply 37 times 19. To start with, I break my 37 into 30 and 7, and my 19 into 10 and 9, using the place values. Then, I multiply 30 times 10, and 7 times 10, 30 times 9, and 7 times 9. Using my basic facts, I find these answers. 3 times 1 is 3, and I add two zeros. Three times nine is 27, one zero for the ten. Seven times one is seven, one zero for the tens. And seven times nine, 63. Now I add my four partial products, 300, 270, 70, and 63 to find my final answer. Zero, zero, zero plus three, is 3. 7, 7 plus 6 is 20, so I need to regroup the two tens. And 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 7. So 337 times 19 is 703. Let's solve that same product now with partial products without the area model. To do this, I'm still breaking apart both numbers into 30 and 7 and 10 and 9, only this time I'm thinking about it in my head and multiplying each number by its value. So 9 ones times 7 ones is 63, and 9 ones times 3 tens is 27 tens, or 270. 1 ten times 7 ones is 70. And 1 ten times 3 tens is 300. Then I add my partial products. Now 3 plus 0, 0, 0 is 3. 6 plus 7 and plus 7 is still 20. And 3 plus 2 plus 2 is still 7. So my answer is 703. At this point, these two strategies are very similar. I still have four partial products. I still have four numbers to add. The new strategy for break apart is going to only give us two partial products and make it one step closer to that tradition. Using the break apart strategy for 37 times 19, I'm going to leave my 37 as 37. I'm going to break apart my 19 using place value into 10 and 9. So to solve this problem, I'm going to do 37 times 10 and 37 times 9. Using the rule for multiplying by 10s, I can put this 0 in the answer and simply multiply 1 times 37. 1 times 7 is 7 and 1 times 3 is 3. I can multiply my 9 times 37. 9 times 7 is 63. Put down the 3 and regroup the 6. And 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 6 is 33. Now, with these two partial products, 370 and 333, I add them together. 370 plus 333, 3 and 7 plus 3 is 10, and 3 plus 3 is 6, and 1 more is 7, and we get the same answer of 703. I like this strategy better than the area model and partial products without the area model, as it is quicker to solve than the others. However, it does still give you one step away from the regrouping in the algorithm. Let's try another. Okay, let's try a few more examples. If I do 56 times 32 using my break apart strategy, remember I'm going to keep 
56 the same, but break apart 30 and 2 using place value into 30 and 2. So I'm going to do 56 times 30 and 56 times 2. Again, I'll use my zero rule for the tens place and put my zero in the answer. 3 times 6 is 18, regroup my 1. 3 times 5 is 15, and 1 more is 16. 56 times 2, 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 more is 11. Now I add my two partial products. 1,680 plus 112 gives me a final product of 1,792. Let's do one more example, and let's challenge ourselves this time with a three-digit number. For this problem, let's do 290 times 46. Let's use break apart to break apart the 46 into 40 and 6, but leave 290 the same. Using my tens rule, I'm going to put my zero in my answer here and do 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 9 is 36. Put down the 6 and regroup the 3. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. 11,600. Now I'll do 290 times 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 9 is 54. I'll put down my 4 and regroup my 5. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 5 is 17. 1,740. I'll add my two partial products, 11,600 plus 1,740 to get my final answer. 6 plus 7, I'll regroup for the 13. 3, 1. And my product is 13,340. Remember, if you're not quite sure how I solved these problems, you should go back and watch the video again. Then take the quiz. Try to solve the problems using this strategy over an area model or partial products without the model. Then tomorrow, you'll go over this in class. Have a great night.